Oh, that's a weird glitch. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, my, my PC. Damn it, Clara. Clara was on my PC again. <laughs> Dude, that's the worst, though. That, shit's, that shit will tilt me. You can't use one of the passwords you used in the previous 10. It's like, dude, I keep fucking forgetting what you made me change it to, so I change it to something random. So I can't change it back to, like, my normal ones. I can, I can read a little bit of it, Sirius. A little bit. At, like, a basic level. New parlay, on saw. On say, on say. I probably even butchered that. It's been like ten years since I took French. I took three years of it in college. <clears throat> Thirty students, two other guys. It was awesome, dude. My favorite class ever. Three years of it. Yeah, I appreciate it, Sirius. I must say, it's uh, it's really grown on me. Oh, that was laggy. What the hell? Okay, it wasn't that time. Hmm. That's funny, Zero. Count, count on me for dad jokes. Now the pressure's on. I don't know if I can handle it. I can't really peek this guy all that easy. Psych. Okay, so tip on that. Like, we're, we'd be barrel stuff trying to come out of this doorway. And so what you do is you, you, you sidestep. And then you, you would slow lean until you're all the way over. Okay, that's not it. So then we need to step again. Now we aim down sight and slow lean again. Okay, that's not it. So on ADS, then you sidestep again. A little bit further. Now do your slow lean out. And that one, that one we'd maybe be able to get it, right? And so you're essentially able to, oh, oh, me. So you're essentially able to get a, a tighter peak without overexposing yourself. Time out. That's fucking weird that I did like a little kid voice and you immediately say that. That's fucking weird. You should reanalyze yourself. Weirdo, dude. I'm running away. I don't want to fight you. You're weird. Yeah, 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 yeah. Weird. Alright, 
I'm out. <laughs> Yo, tax, let's go. Coming in with the seven. Eleven months, man. Much fucking love. Much, much love. <laughs> I'm over here. Come here. Daddy's gonna come get you. Bet you won't, bitch. Your mom's gonna be very disappointed when she hears you talking like that on the internet. Yeah, she is. Probably more so than she already is. She's not gonna lay your clothes out for you tomorrow. She's gonna be mad. Baby boy, come here. Daddy's gonna prank you. <laughs> I have the weirdest fear boner going on right now, dude. God damn it, dude. I'm gonna have to push this dude. Oh, I had him there. I did not mean to, to limp arm that. All three of those were just shit. Uh-oh. Did you say your name, Adidas? I think you did. We got some stream snipers. Killed your teammate, dipshit. It's kind of weird you guys play with that dude. A weird champ. You're not you're not weirded out by him. No. Tschüss. You 
stop it. Never. You stop it. I see your arm. Oh, he's... Oh, he killed me. <laughs> yeah, I got you, buddy. What you gonna do about it? What's that? You're gonna eat an aid? That's my bag, you little bitch. Oh, no, it's not. Just kidding. Sorry. You're good, bro. That, that, that one's on me. That one's on me. You'll never catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Mwahahaha. All right. Made it. What a round, dude. All right. Let me go back to my VODs real quick. Okay. So. Let me get to the spot where we actually fight him. Okay, so at this point, I had, I'd kind of thought that it was just uh, two people. I thought it was two. One one on the left side, and then the guy voiping, because the guy voiping was further over to the right than the shots, than the guy that was off to the left. <laughs> okay. So at this this was when I this was when I had decided to uh, push, right? I, I had two options. Whenever I knew that they were stream sniping, I could either push and kill them, or... Uh, try to try to run away because it wasn't like I was going to be able to sit there and wait since I was outnumbered 2v1 trying to cross this much open ground is fucking tough because there's an angle here and an angle here that they were peeking from right and so that's a lot of open ground and playing these mid pillars is very very difficult to, to do and so what I was going to try to do was pick one of them off before we got the push um and so I, I was playing off this back pillar but I, um, this guy wasn't repeaking. This guy wasn't repeaking. So I was going to try to cross over and get a new angle on him. Uh, and so what I did was go to this right side. And you saw right there, a split second before, as I was running, he, uh, you could see him up on top. God damn it. You could see him up on top of that. Like last second when I crossed over, I saw a vision of this guy, right? So I was going to do a quick re-peak re on the right side and kill him. Got him. And I think I had either heard or saw another one on the left side there as I was crossing over. Um, I, I think I was waiting to see after I killed him, I was going to see if the second one was going to peek. So essentially, after you kill one, the second guy might try to peek to, to either catch you in the mid run or uh, it, it kind of all, all shit goes into the fan right after you kill one in a team. Once your teammate dies, they kind of play reckless a lot of times. But essentially, it gets them to peek. So I was waiting to see if they were going to re-peek it before I went for a hard push. They didn't, so I decide, okay, I'm going to go ahead and push up. I'm going to go to the first hard cover, then to the second. And I saw the guy jump there, and I'm like, okay, is he running away? I was like, is this, is this guy really taking off running? Uh, because I'd killed the first guy. I was like, maybe he grabbed his buddy's loot and is just deucing out. And so I went to went to chase him, but I wanted to make sure it's a right-hand peak. I had a, I had a split-second audio there on metal, so I knew that he, that he was still moving on that ramp. Then I come here, I check to the right just because there's no vision that, that anyone could get me on the left, but I was worried about there being someone to the right. And whenever I went, it's in 0.75, so it's kind of slow there, but whenever I did that first peak, I got a small glimpse of him and then uh, went for 
recover and then i went for a quick uh peek left hand peek and i was just gonna pre-fire him went and pre-fired him but i didn't get the kill but now if since i'm in the middle of the of a team like i realize it's a fucking team we got this guy in front of me here guy to the left guy behind me and i killed one so it's a fucking team their comms are probably scuffed and it's very very difficult in that dark area to tell who is who and so i was like i'm just gonna put myself in the middle and go for this left guy I put f shots on the right i'm going for the left guy now because i think i tagged the guy on the right a little bit he's not going to be as aggressive uh so i have a chance to take a 1v1 with the guy to the left i didn't know this guy was here so he caught me off guard bump 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 he's dead now i need to focus left but I, I caught a small vision of this guy running to the left um as as i was fighting that guy and then went to turn to the left i saw him run here and so i was like oh he's gonna try to circle around so i followed ready for the fight dipshit number one kills the dude uh, uh team fires Th he's thinking that that's me right there and i say or well i there we go and so if there's four people there's almost always going to be five because usually it's it's a, a solo a duo a trio and if they're willing to do a four man they're probably gonna just gonna max out the squad because uh, uh, um solo easy peasy comms or the, the comms in a duo a lot easier trios it could get a little hectic and you need better comms at four man that's a fucking shit show on comms you have so many is this you is this you is this you and so if it's a four if it's a four man it's likely going to be a five because if you're willing to muddy up the comms that much you might as well go out and have full numbers and so i was checking to see if there was one more sure enough we push over here i was gun. i think i pulled out the, the heel too early there honestly but went there and he shot and so I was going to try and get a right hand peek. And then we end up playing kind of like a ring around the rosy situation. I closed that door because a left hand peek is not very strong in, in, in his scenario. He has a right hand peek. I have a left hand peek on that door. So I need to close that door to make sure I'm sitting here on a right hand peek through the hallway. If he wants to swing this, I'm going to see his left shoulder before he sees me. So it's it should be a pretty free kill on my part. So I kind of sat here for a moment. So I hit six rounds. I went for the reload and I saw, okay, that's reloading pretty quickly. It's got to be a pretty close to full mag. So I just canceled the reload, went or canceled the, canceled the repack, went for the reload. And I talked a little shit. Honestly, I thought the guy was kind of funny. Um, it was more or less, he, he, it's weird to fucking stream snipe, but um, it also is kind of weird to play the whole fucking like daddy role. Like that's kind of a fucking weird thing, but teach your own. Uh, so I talked a little shit to throw him off, razzle him up, you know. He doesn't respond. I throw out another insult. Now question, make him question. He's, he's, he's now thinking about it, about what his friend was saying rather than uh, at the actual fight at hand. I go to push up a little bit, but I realize that that flashlight's turned on, so it's going to telegraph my exact push. So guess what I do? I go over here. I'm going to grab the top, grab the flashlight so it's no longer shining and telegraphing. I was like, oh shit, kill armor. I ditch mine, put the kill armor on because I love the kill armor. Best armor in game. And go back for a right hand peek. I realize he's not going to push at all. Like this guy's not, not moving. He's bunkered down. And his teammates have been bunkered down the entire time. So there's zero reason for him to push. Uh, and so I was like, you know what? I'm going to slow creep. We'll see if we can't get an angle. Maybe, maybe if he's holding a right hand peek the entire time, I could slow peek up a little bit. So we do just that and let me speed up. I end up not seeing him on this peak at all. He's not there. I was like, okay, maybe he's holding behind the doorway right here. So I went for a quick peek, nothing. I was like, okay, I'm going to back it back up and we're going to go back in this little room and I'm going to sprint across here and he's going to have to have a phenomenal timing on, on the shot to get the kill. But more than likely, he's going to expose his position. I sprint, sprint across and let me break that down a little bit. So as I sprint across... Uh, I pre-fired that little right spot because that's the one spot that he could have moved up to and been sitting uh, to get the kill, but he was a little bit further to the left. But basically, I sprinted across to get into the right-hand peak. He would have had to have a phenomenal timing to get that shot. Uh, he didn't, and shot, exposes positioning, and then it just turns into a 1v1 hip fire spray, which I win. And so five men down. But that's like the entire thought process behind that fight right there.